Giancarlo Stan walks to the plate menacing as ever. This breakdown, it's brought to you by SeatGeek, and it's a more kind of technical breakdown than lip reading or ejection or wild moment. Just uh, what's the difference between getting fooled by a breaking ball slash sitting on a breaking ball? So Stan just smolders the pitcher, stares at him. He's got two on. There's two outs, two nothing lead. First pitch, little cutter. He's behind it, and the ump says that it's foul. But I don't know about that. If I was a Rangers fan, I'd be pretty pissed. You got this angle. Now, the ump's got a good view, but it feels to me like that goes over the bag in fair territory. Look at the shadow. But maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I'd be a little upset if I was a Rangers fan because they say, no, 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 the inning isn't over. It's a foul ball. So instead of the inning ending and the Rangers holding the two-run lead, the at-bat continues. They threw a cutter. His timing was off on the cutter. Now they're shaking. They're deciding, what are we going to go here? They go with a slider, and it works. Look at this swing. Boom. Way, way off that pitch. And he says, I'll put that in my memory. Let's get back to there if I need it. Let's go with some fastballs up to change the eye line. Now that, he missed his spot. That's way worse than he wanted. And again, that's way inside. And now I think... The pitcher goes, all right, time to go back to that slider that got him. And Stanton says, well, I just missed his spot two times with that fastball. And that slider got me pretty big. So maybe I just sit slider 2-2 here. And that's my guess at what happened because you get a 2-2 slider, very similar to the first slider he threw. But this time goes down and whacks it on a line to the outfield for a three and homer says oh did not work that time good high five there by those two guys just power high five two hands in the middle and that guy jumping up and down in front of them good scenes in the outfield stan grabs the ball at third he's going to take it to the end zone he's got himself a three-run homer. Now, I wanted to compare the two swings a lot. There's the slider grip, the slider spin. It's coming in. Boom. It's going out. Here's another replay. I mean, just really goes down and gets it. He knows he got it. Yep. Get off me. I put together a bunch of combinations. Oh, I like that little shot. Yep. That's three. Yep. Three more runs. Stan's excited about it. Got his pitch. Hammered it. All smiles in the dugout for G. Look how low he went. His knee, I believe, scrapes the ground a little bit right there. Okay. Says, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yep. Excited about it. So, These are the two swings. I believe on the left is the swing and miss. On the right is the home run. What's the difference? And, wow, look at the fan all the way on the right with his hands up. He was way first up. He always got competition right next to Stanton there, but he, he dominated. So these are the two swings. Is there a difference? I don't know. Not naked eye. But then I went to this angle. Is there a difference? Um, yeah. There's a little bit of a difference. Here's the two overlaid and the two pitches. So as far as the pitches go, both sliders, one's a little higher. So the one he hits does get hung a little more. It stays up. And Stan's body and posture is different because he knew. So you can see the feet. He's a little more spread, and I'll show you that later. But the biggest thing is, see his ass? It stays so back. There's one where he lunges forward and there's the other where his ass and his shoulders stay so back and patient and make sure they're square to the ball. But the feet adjustment is what I like the most. It's that step, the longer stride right there. He he widens his stance and then has a longer stride to go down and get it. And I really wanted to look at that. So I overlaid the two and then I put them with these red lines showcasing the back of his right foot, back of his left foot. Up top is the home run. Below is when he got fooled. And you can see he's just a, like a foot wider, right? So he got himself a foot wider. And then when he strides, he strides a lot wider as well. So he can make sure that he's slower and can get down and get it. So see how much longer that stride is, which is allows him to just be a little slower, keep his body back and go down and get it you look at the length of the stride you can see if i match up the red lines it was way longer allowed himself to get deeper allowed himself to go fish that one out of the ground just a tiny little adjustment of just 
because he thinks, I think he's going to throw him that slider and then makes a little adjustment and then absolutely hammers the slider. If you want to go see home runs like this in person and watch all the nuances of where guys stand, where they where, where they change when they stand, they scoot up, they scoot back, you got to go to a game because sometimes the broadcast doesn't show you. And when you go to a game, use code JOMBOY at SeatGeek for $20 off your first purchase. That's $20 off your first purchase, the promo code JOMBOY. Click the link in the description. Use the app. They let you know the value of the seat and then you go and you have fun.